Thank you both very much for your support and for your inspiring remarks. I would like to introduce now Dr. Kenneth Davis, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Mount Sinai Health System. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is a somewhat poignant and melancholy moment for me, too, because 50 years ago, I sat in your seats. Um, that was a long time ago. There was no Stern Auditorium. There was no Annenberg. Um, but the values that were entrusted to me 50 years ago are the same values that we entrust to you. As members of our community, we need you to uphold and advance those values that have defined us since our very earliest days. That is to say, a commitment to serve everyone, no matter what race, ethnicity, or ability to pay. But there's a new challenge today that adds a burden to our ability to follow through on our core values. It is a challenge that threatens our goals as a healthcare system and our ability to best serve our patients. It's a challenge that I must bring to your attention despite what a glorious day this is, and to the intention of our entire community. The federal government has released a rule that could deny permanent resident status to some legal immigrants if they accept government assistance, including using Medicaid, food stamps, or housing assistance, all of which we know impacts on a person's health and well-being. In accepting federal government assistance, these individuals and families risk being labeled as a public charge. And under this new rule, it would jeopardize their ability to remain in the United States. What that means is this. If you use Medicaid, your ability to become a legal permanent resident may be at risk. If you use food stamps, you may be at risk. If you use certain kinds of housing, you may be at risk. But healthcare costs are intimately connected to social services. Helping people find safe and clean places to live improve public health. Giving legal immigrants Medicaid to manage chronic conditions improves public health. Food stamps improve public health. Our communities are healthier, our health care costs are lower when our government funds these services and when our government implements policies to penalize immigrants, our communities suffer. Think for a second of the Statue of Liberty the greatest symbol of what our country stands for. Think of the torch she holds, illuminating the pathway to liberty. Think of what is written on the pedestal beneath her. It, of course, says, and I'm sure we all know, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. These words inspired people, inspired generations. Those words inspired the mom who came here alone, the young adults who came here with nothing, the person fleeing poverty and oppression and I'm sure many of your parents and grandparents, and I know my grandparents. And I'm sure they resonate with the values that led you to choose both medicine as a profession and Mount Sinai as a place to study. Today, with this rule, those words on the Statue of Liberty ring hollow. What our government is doing is forcing people to make an impossible decision, health care or a long-term future in the country they love. It's a cruel dilemma that no family should choose no family should face. What our government is doing is attacking immigrants. How does that affect you, the future physicians and researchers that are in this room? Quite simply, our communities will be sicker. Some of your patients will be sicker. In fact, interestingly, some of the consequences of this rule were spelled out in the very report that proposed the public charge. And I quote from that report, quote, there will be worse health outcomes, unquote, and, quote, increased use of emergency rooms and emergent services. The rule is supposed to stop immigrants from being a burden on taxpayers, but by not seeking preventive care and routine screenings, by not supporting a healthy home, by not subsidizing the cost of food, we know these individuals will cost the health care system more money down the road. And the chilling effect is real, and we've already seen it. A mother recently came to our hospital with her children. Her foot was in pain, and it was interfering with her ability to work. But she did not want to use Medicaid because she feared she would be, quote, a public charge. The rule is not even in effect and is scaring people away from health care services. A recent survey 
found that one in seven adult immigrants did not participate in a federal program because they were worried it would threaten their status. The government is stigmatizing legal immigrants. Are we telling them to abandon health care or food or housing assistance? Is the goal for them to suffer enough that they will voluntarily leave the country? This is not who we are. And it's not what Mount Sinai represents or what America's values have been. We are not a perfect country, but we always aspire to fulfill high-minded principles. Sometimes we fall short, but to turn our backs, what does that accomplish? So here is what I want you committed to when you leave this room. We must defend our ability to be health care providers for all. We must be ready to effectively deliver care to all our patients, no matter what the obstacles may be, and encourage them to obtain care. Even with this horrible, dangerous year world, Mount Sinai's doors will always be open to those who need care, regardless of income or where they come from. This has been part of our DNA since our earliest days, since our founding in 1852, when we were the Jews Hospital, a hospital was dedicated to taking care of indigent Jews with free medical care. And no government rule will stand in the way of those core initial values. We'll never back away from supporting efforts that improve health and well-being of our patients. We'll never back away from speaking out against regulations that contradict our values. By accepting your white coat today, you are pledging to uphold those values, to fulfill Mount Sinai's mission. And please remember, no one who walks through our doors is a, ever a public charge. Thank you.